Paris. What's not to love about the city of love? The architecture, the cafes, the style, the people, the grandeur, the language, the art, the food, the romance, the culture, you name it. All the reasons why Paris is one of the most visited cities in the world. And with its beautiful parks, famous landmarks, and delicious wine, Paris is one of my favorite paint and sip destinations in the world. For those of you who are interested in coming to Paris to paint and sip, here are my tips for you. So make sure you choose the right time of year to come. <laughs> like all great destinations, Paris has its high and low seasons and there are pros and cons to both. The high season, May through August, has great weather but there are a lot of tourists and prices of flights and hotels are at their highest. The low season, November through February, has less tourists and lower prices but it can be cold, rainy and snowy, making your open air painting experience not so pleasant. I chose to come in September because the peak season just ended, prices of things begin to drop, the kids are back in school, most backpackers and tourists are gone, and the days are still bright and sunny and warm, which is perfect for painting outside. Choose the right location within the city to stay. Paris is divided into 20 districts or neighborhoods, each one offering something a little different. Some districts are cool and hip and appeal to younger crowds with hostels and light clubs like the 11th district, while others have great shopping and restaurants like the Latin Quarter in the 5th district. The main Paris attractions are pretty evenly spread through these districts, like Notre Dame, that's in the 4th, the Louvre is in the 1st, the Eiffel Tower is in the 7th, and so on. The closer you are to certain attractions, obviously the more expensive the accommodations. Where you want to stay is based upon your preference and your budget. However, if you want to make your painting experience more enjoyable and convenient, I would definitely suggest staying close to the things that you want to paint. If you can, get a room with a view. Finding a hotel that has a view of the Eiffel Tower or Notre Dame will set you back a few bucks, but it'll be worth it if you want to paint from the luxury of your own hotel room. Before you book, check your hotel to see if they have rooms with views. If not, many hotels have balconies or rooftops where you can set up your easel. You will have those days when you'll want to paint, but you just don't want to go anywhere to do it. Paint where the locals paint. Check out the local parks. Why? Because the parks are beautiful. There's always other artists painting and you'll find a lot of inspiration. The most popular parks in Paris are Parc de Bouchemont, Champ de Mars, and Trocadero Gardens. Pack some snacks. With patisseries and boulangeries on every corner, the smell of fresh bread and pastries fills the streets. Parisians, they love to picnic, so while you're in Paris, do as the Parisians and buy some fresh bread, a croissant, some cheese, and of course some wine, and bring them with you and make your paint and sip experience even more fulfilling. Add on a little extra time for where you wanna go. Even though your destination might only be two miles away, Always keep in mind that Paris is a city, and like all cities, it's crowded and stuff happens. Expect delays like traffic, construction, buses running late, not being able to find a taxi. These types of delays, they're out of your control and they can be frustrating and frankly ruin your painting experience if you don't prepare for them and budget accordingly. Stay near a metro station. Regardless of which district you choose to stay in, make sure you're near a metro station. The metro is the quickest and best way to get around Paris. With all your painting supplies in hand, you'll be glad you took a few extra minutes online to check and see if a metro is nearby. Trust me, you don't want to waste your money on taking taxis all day. Buses, they're good, but they're not as quick and reliable as the metro, so stay near a metro station. Make sure you have your paint supplies ready to go at any time. You just never know when you're gonna stumble upon that perfect spot you just have to paint. It's okay to leave your hotel without your paint set. Just make sure that it's ready to go should you feel the need to race back to your room to get it. Get inspired by the local artist's work. You want inspiration? Just visit a local art gallery and see for yourself some of the paintings that local artists have done. Don't be afraid to talk to other artists. They may give you some advice or they might even point you in the direction of a secret scenic spot that's not on the tourist map. If you can, make your way outside of the city. 
So there's a bunch of great day trips from Paris that are definitely worth taking, such as the Palace of Versailles, Giverny, where you're going to find Monet's Gardens, and the Loire Valley. These are popular destinations for good reason, because they're absolutely beautiful and they possess many picture-perfect painting spots. Make sure you know where the paint supply stores are. Although you're not going to find a Michaels or a Walmart anywhere, Paris is for art lovers and enthusiasts, and there are plenty of art supply stores throughout the city. However, many of these stores are little mom and pop shops, so you might want to call ahead or check out their website before heading there just to make sure they have what you need, you know where they're located, and that they're actually going to be open when you get there. Expect an audience. Tourists will always be tourists, even in Paris. So don't be surprised if a few tourists stand behind you and watch you paint. They might even walk in front of your canvas as if you don't exist. Or they're going to even try and strike up a conversation thinking you're actually interested in talking with them. So as long as you are mentally prepared for it, you can handle it. With the painting part out of the way, now comes the sipping. First things first, can you drink in public in Paris? Yes, you can drink in public. So long as you don't act like a drunken tourist. Enjoying a glass of wine on the Champ de Mars or on the banks of the Seine River has long been enjoyed by tourists and locals. So go right ahead and pop the cork and enjoy your paint and sip experience. What should you sip on while painting in Paris? Well, any major wine you can think of. I could spend a whole video just on French wine, but simply put, most of the wines that you're already familiar with come from France. Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Burgundy, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling, Merlot, and of course Champagne. All of these are in every bar, restaurant, and liquor store. If you want to try a local cocktail instead, I'd start with the Key Royale. This is the creme de la creme of French cocktails and it's very popular and very tasty. Next, pretty much anything with Grey Goose vodka. Grey Goose originated in Picardy, a town just northeast of Paris in the early 1990s, and it's very popular with tourists and locals. Next, there's the mimosa, which originated in Paris in the 20s. This drink's always a good choice for all you early sunrise paint and sippers. And lastly, the French 75, a popular drink made from champagne, gin, and brandy. Whatever you choose, just remember to sip responsibly. Yummy and smooth. Thanks for watching. Please join me as I paint and sip around the world.